I look like that was about. Oh, that's a fish. Oh my gosh, it's huge. It's gone that oh. fast. I mean, how big? That had to be five pound fish. Easy. Come on, fish with Latin in your have some fun. Can't some fly in Alaska on the wild Yukon or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. We worked our way into the meadow area of Fremont Canyon where we spotted an excellent fishing hole. Boy, that looks good. Yeah, <laughs> sure does. <laughs> I love that Man. nice riffle going in that with a lot of holding water. Yeah, hopefully we can get deep enough, you know, with strike indicators and stuff, get down deep. But yeah. boy, there's a great riffle up here that doesn't, you know, looks fantastic. Want to try that? Yeah, I'll, I'll go up here, here if you're good there. Perfect. What I'm doing with this nymphing is trying to just work my way across the water from near to far. And I just basically cast my setup upstream. And then I just try to mend my line a little bit just so I can keep a natural drift going. Fish. Nice. Looks like a good one. It's a good one, yeah, absolutely. Oh boy, there he goes, I saw it. It's a good one. Just took off like a rocket when it saw me. Yeah. Here she comes. Oh boy, it's huge. And there there she, she goes. goes. <laughs> saw me. She saw me. Yeah, don't like the looks of you. God, these things are powerful fighters. Yeah, big Absolutely. fish in this yeah. Fremont Canyon. Yes, indeed. I was slowly moving the stubborn fish toward me. Look at that beauty. Oh, man. Come on, buddy. Just a little bit more. That's it, yeah. Where is he? I don't know. I'm getting out of the way. Oh, nice. he's in the net. <laughs> what a slab. Big fish on the little midge. Wow. Woo. Black? Black little midge, yeah. Mayhem midge. Gorgeous big trout. Wow. Hard fighter. Look at that beauty. There she goes. Truly amazing fight. Just a beautiful big rainbow. I've been fishing this double nymph setup. Uh, up top, I have a little black mayfly, and down below, I have a midge, something like that. I'll show you the setup, but uh, just an outstanding, outstanding fish. This is the setup I used to land that fish. Up top, I have a little black mayhem midge, and down below, a little mayfly nymph, the split case. Little midge did the trick. Uh, put a crawdad pattern on a sink tip line because uh, I've got a lot of depth out there, eight to ten feet. I want to get down and kind of swing it and see, give it a little bit of a twitch, see if it'll work. So I'm just casting upstream, working my way across, letting it sink, and then um, as it gets down below me, I'm just let then holding onto the line and let it swing through, pulling it once in a while to give it some motion and uh, hope, hope a fish will hit. Fish. All right, Steve. Looks like a beauty. Steve was trying to gain some line back whenever he had the opportunity. Jeez, haven't seen it yet, have you? No, not even close, yeah. It, you know, I'd cast out fairly far, so it was already a ways out, and then it yeah. took off. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I can see the slab in there already. Oh boy. Yep, I can see it. It's underneath the water. Yeah. Flashing. Yep, it's a big fish. Steve was methodically moving the large rainbow closer. Starting to tire. <laughs> you <Right>. or him? <laughs> Both, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what a fish. Yeah, on the crawdad. Whoo! On the crawdad. On the crawdad, yeah. Slap the crawdad. All right, this is a really big trout. Nice fish. Look at that thing. Maybe 18 inches, two and a half pounds. Hard fighting rainbow. Didn't jump, but uh, made some awesome, incredible runs. Into my back, <laughs> and off it goes. Good fighting fish, that's pretty cool. I switched to a crawdad pattern and uh, was casting out and then kind of let it swing at the end of the drift and that's when that thing hit it and uh, took off right away. Boy, I'm glad I got that fish in. Earlier today, we found a crawdad in the water, so I thought, why not? I put on a crawdad pattern, this one right here, it's pretty good sized, and then uh, followed it with a rock worm, and uh, that fish hit the crawdad. We took a break to visit a bridge just a few minutes upriver. It was incredibly scenic. Assume we can do this? I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of a gate there, maybe we shouldn't. Yeah. Wow, that's spectacular. That is crazy. I see a nice riffle downstream. So we're gonna head for that, see if there's anything feeding in there. We've heard there's a afternoon mayfly hatch, and a lot of times they like the riffles, so. We're going to head down to that riff hole and see if we can catch them. I see a little bucket out there behind that boulder. Uh, looks like it deepens up. Yeah, yep. do you mind if I go hit that? Yeah, go for that. I'll be right up here. Sounds great. All right. We watched our indicators and hoped for the best. Snag! Uh-oh. No, fish. Oh, really? Fish, fish, Oh, fish. nice. My gosh. <laughs> Must be a big one. Oh, yeah. If you thought it was a rock. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If he jumps, maybe drop your rod or something. Okay. That's, they've been breaking Going me way off. across the river. Wow. Okay. That's a huge fish. When you think the fish you caught is a rock, and then it starts to move, that's usually a pretty good sign. Oh my gosh, the rod bend. That thing's taking some heat. It's heading towards shore now. Yeah. He'll make another run, I'm sure. Yeah. He's already made several. Yeah. Get as much line as I can. He must have had a ton of line on you. Oh, he did. He, oh my gosh, there he is. Yikes. I was trying to move the fish closer, but progress was slow. Oh man, my heart's just pounding. Yeah. Come on, the baby. Come on. Oh my gosh, that's a huge fish. Wow. Oh my gosh, I got him. I got him. Man, I tell you what, that was just an epic battle. I mean, it just went on and on. I got into this fast water. I didn't want him to go down those rapids, but here's this beautiful fish. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. Longer than the net. Mm -hmm. Mm. There she goes. Gosh, what a oh. fight. I tell you, that was a very, very difficult fight. 
and uh, it just took off down in there and just went downstream. I didn't want to get in that rapids, like I said before. If I got that rapid, I would have been in a lot of trouble. But I made it. It was a great fish. That was such an epic battle. I mean, that thing screamed across that river twice. Finally got my line back. I did not want it to go down that rapids down there. You can see that. If it would have went in there, I would have been in a lot of trouble. So I kind of tried to stand my ground right up here. Fortunately, it paid off. I looked like that was about. Oh, that's a fish. Oh my gosh, it's huge. <sighs> it's gone that oh. fast. I mean, how big? That had to be five pound fish. Easy. The fish. Nice. Oh. oh, what a jumper. It's a big jumper. It's a big fish, Steve. Nice. Oh, oh my. my goodness. I'm telling you. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. It's coming close. Here she comes. Come on, baby. Beautiful fish. Oh. Keep them going upstream if I can. Come on, guy. Please. Wow, what a fish. Oh my gosh, it is huge. <laughs> they just keep getting bigger. It's a beautiful, beautiful colored rainbow. You know which fly it took? Can you tell? Yeah, I took the uh, midge. Midge, all right. What a fish. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> he still had a little bit of energy left after that hard fight. I'm telling you, that's just unbelievable. I know we've said it before, but in this river, the fish are big, amazing fighters, hard jumping fish, and I feel very fortunate every time I get one of those things <laughs> in. Such a hard fight. Fish. All right, Steve. Wow. Looks like a biggie. I don't think he's as big, but a nice fish. Come on, guy. Oh, it's a beauty. Nice, nice oh. job. Oh, <sighs> just, gosh, just don't know. Just don't know. Can't get him in. That's too bad. Yeah. Just... Fish. All right. Boy, it's going a big run. Yeah. Oh, got it. He was so close for a while. Just don't know if he knew he was caught or something. What setup do you have on? Uh, the, the midge and the thing again. Have you seen it yet? Yeah. Yep, I've seen it a couple of times. Huh. Because it came up, it, like I said, you just came really close. Huh. Steve cranked his fly line up to his leader before preparing to land the fish. Got him. Yeah. Woo. Gorgeous <laughs> fish. <laughs> That's oh. cool. I landed a fish. What a fish. Probably three pounds, 18 or so. Just a beautiful rainbow. Yeah. Mm. Man, I tell you, what a fight. Yeah, beautiful fish. Mm. Gosh. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs>
feels good to get one in, but again, it's just so much fun. The hook set, the initial run that these fish take most of the time, sometimes a jump, and then just the horsing, gosh. Like, like Ladin said before, you feel so fortunate to get one to the net. Incredible.